there children. Ooh, Uncle Trev here. Today I'm planting some daffodil bulbs. I've turned the soil over really well so the soil is really really good and now I'm putting these bulbs in. Bulbs are a bit like big seeds and I'm hoping that in springtime around about the time of St. David's Day, March the 1st, we'll have lots of lovely daffodils growing in our garden. I've only got a few more to do. Come on. Okay, now I'm gonna cover them all up. Is my last bulb to put in and once I've done this I can pack away Whew. in you go my little bulb cover you up and watch the soil and now it's time to pack away all this gear in my shed come on then let's go Woo. here we go To get to the back garden, we've got to go through the gate. Come on, through my gate then. Oh, come on children, follow me this way, this way. Ooh. That's the way. Up the steps we go. To the shed. Oh, I can hear lots of birds in the garden today. Do you know children, all the birds are eating lots of food at the moment. They're getting themselves nice and fat for winter. Oh, there's some over there in that tree. And look at those over there. Oh, I love seeing birds in my garden. Come on children. Hang on a minute, children. One of the most important things that we can ever do is remember the things that Jesus taught us, to remember his words. And when I'm working in the garden, I often see things that help me to remember the teaching of Jesus. Have you seen any things in my garden today that remind you of things that Jesus taught us? Hmm. I think we should go back and start again. Now these bulbs are a bit like big seeds, aren't they? And when I've been planting these bulbs today, it's reminded me of the story Jesus told. Can you remember it from last year? Where the sower goes out to plant seed. The seed is all the same, but it falls on different types of ground. And the only seed that grew was the one that fell on good soil. Now Uncle Trez worked really hard at preparing his soil to make it really, really, really good soil and that reminds me that if we're going to grow as Christians then our lives need to be prepared so that we can understand God's word really clearly. So children it's important that when you're listening to stories, Bible stories in church, that you pray to Jesus and ask the Holy Spirit to prepare your heart so that you can receive God's good word which is like a seed. So can you remember what I did after I planted my daffodil bulbs? That's right, I had to put my equipment away. I had to go to the shed in my back garden. And how did I get to my shed? I had to go through my gate. It's a little bit narrow to get through. Does that remind you of anything? 
it does with me, it reminds me of the story where Jesus said he is the gate. And if we want to get to God, if we want to get to heaven, there's only one way. And that's through the narrow gate. The narrow gate is Jesus. He is the only way we can get to God. So remember that, children, whenever you go through a gate. So children, can you remember what Uncle Trev did when he got to this point in the garden? That's right, I stopped because I could hear and see birds in my garden. I love having birds in my garden. But when I think about the birds, it reminds me of something that Jesus taught us. Can you remember what Jesus said about the birds? He told us to look at the birds when you're feeling worried. Maybe you're upset and anxious about something. It could be something in school. It could be something at home. Maybe even, even about what you're gonna eat or what you're gonna wear that day. You get a bit worried about it. Jesus says, don't look at the birds. Because if your heavenly father looks after the birds, how much more will he look after you? And will he look after me? So next time you're feeling a bit worried, remember to look at the birds. Right, come on now, I can put all my stuff away. Follow me. Ooh. So our lesson today, children, is remember the words of Jesus. Look around you, see things in the air, see things in your garden, see things in your school, in your house. And as you see these objects and these things, let them make you think about things that Jesus taught us, important things that we all need to remember. Well, until next week, children, it's been great talking to you and I look forward to talking to you again next week. But until then, it's bye from Uncle Trev. Bye.